Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I'll show you how to read and forward certain SMS programmatically from your Android app. So let's begin. So in this app, we will be forwarding SMS based on certain condition check. So we can name it as like my SMS forward app. You can name it anything. And uh, minimum SDK will leave it to 28, but you, again, you can choose anything over here. Click finish. We'll wait for some time for the our ID to load up. Once the ID loads up, this kind of uh, screen will come up or uh, yeah, uh, you know, Android Studio. So in parallel, I will also open my emulator because I would like to show you the SMSs which I already have and uh, some of the things, the condition which we'll, we will be using it. So and in the meantime, I will also do my uh, coding in parallel. OK. So on the right hand side, we can see the emulator has come up. So uh, first I'd like to show that I have already some SMSs uh, in this. So say for example, uh, nice work, hello world, blah, blah. So if I open this, uh, yeah, test mail from programmer. So there, there are various uh, uh, messages. So we will be filtering out few messages from here and try to send it or forward it automatically to a particular number. So let's begin. So I will probably switch back to my, yeah, the default uh, layout of the app which I have got right now. Okay, so before I proceed, quickly in the manifest file, first I will define the permissions which I need. So the permissions which I will be needing is say for example to read SMS and also to probably send SMS. I don't think we will need the permission to receive SMS that is mostly needed uh, when you want to put some kind of listener also. So I think from Android uh, manifest.xml file perspective, we are done here. And I'll quickly add the request from the user to grant me the permission, the permissions which we had just not defined in the uh, manifest file. So that will be simple. I think new and I can just put here new string. And what else I'll be needing, needing is manifest.permission.read uh, permission and uh, the other one will be permission dot send sms yeah uh, i think i should have given a comma here is what i feel i think again i missed it yes and package manager permission granted perfect so this line of code will be uh, will ensure that i get those permissions from my user okay so once i have this i think uh, uh, I will switch to layout now. Layout I will keep probably pretty much simple and straightforward. I will use this the default text view which is given by this in the default layout. And apart from this, I'll just need one button which will trigger my uh, forward option. And I can just name it as forward. You can also automate it in your uh, larger code where instead of taking the trigger from a button. You can automatically do it based on certain conditions or checks, whatever in your app, it happens. Okay. So, but anyway, I'll keep it simple. So this forward button, I'll just add the uh, on click method for this. So that will be public white button forward and view. view. You can any name this method anything. I go back to my layout and in this on click, I just assign this button on click attribute uh, to this particular matter which we just now defined and this will uh, change to dark black uh, from gray and that that shows like it has it is now enabled active okay anyway uh, what else we will need is we will need probably a class variable private uh, text view text view and here we will assign this class variable to the or associate this with the uh, text view the box which we have uh, dot id dot text view in the layout perfect okay so once we have this now we can start uh, with our code so what we will need is we will need uh, first to read the our uh, sms so that we can read using uh, get content resolver Content resolver, perfect. And then we can query on that, and query will be of course we can pass our 
a string to create our query and that will be nothing but content and the query will be on of course uh, sms other arguments i think projects and then what else i will need is probably i i think i can keep others as null that won't be required uh, no other input is what i feel null and all all others are null label so i'll just leave it null yeah perfect so once i have it i think um, uh, i can move to the so i, I so this cursor variable will have all the content of my SMS, the complete SMS in my uh, SMS or inbox. And now I can filter out the SMS which I need. So for that, first and foremost, what I'll do is uh, not sure. Uh, okay, I think by mistake I went up there. That's why I'm not getting it. Anyway, so I'll first move it to the first and. So that means it will go to the topmost in the uh, list of the SMS which it has retrieved. And please note, it's always upside down the retrieval. So that means the last SMS is top or first in this cursor variable, and the 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 last or the or the or the previous SMS uh, is will be in the end of this cursor variable. Okay. So now what we'll do is uh, we have got the content of SMS in this variable and now we will be sending the SMS based on certain conditions. So we'll do that condition check. But for that first we'll do is we will uh, uh, keep moving this cursor to next and keep checking until uh, move to next. This particular uh, cursor is not null. Okay. And here we can probably insert our condition check based on which we want to do certain operation so you can do certain operations say for example for a certain user you want to forward those messages or you want to forward those messages when this the message has certain messages uh, the sms contains certain keywords say for example some kind of key strokes password or some kind of flag then you can uh, try to do that here what we'll do is we'll try to keep it simple probably uh, I'll read the string message. I can just put here. Yeah. So I'm reading the message of this uh, of each and every the body, basically message body of each and every message. And based on a certain condition, say for example, if that message body, which is string dot message body, it contains a word called probably my channel name programmer. Then uh, what you do? Probably I can make it be small. <coughs> then what they should do is they should forward this to some SMS manager. So I'm I'm writing the code here to forward that or to send that SMS to a particular number. So for that I am first creating my SMS manager uh, variable send. And here I think this is pretty simple. So get default yes. So this will get to the default uh, message uh, application or handle here and then what you can do is you can use this send to send it send uh, uh, text we will be sending it as a text format and not as a multimedia format so we can just use this and the first argument is to get that destination address that's also in the string format so you can hard code the number what we can do is we can just create another uh, private string here string string number and we can just define the number as say for example uh, anything uh, 0 0 0 just this is just for demo purpose of course 4 times 0 so we will be using that over here string number as a destination and uh, then the second argument is the address uh, to which we, we have to send so that probably I can keep it as null and then third argument is the text the text message which I want to send so I want to forward my is a message body which we just now read over uh, here line number 42 and there's all things I think I can keep it as null and pending intent also null just for simplicity yeah so this will ensure that uh, my message goes through and then after that probably i can do a break because i don't want to keep sending lots of messages and i don't want to do it uh, in an iteration format so it should just be doing once so this break will 
exit the while loop okay so once this uh, message is sent probably what uh, else i would like to do is i will also like to update my text view and so probably with some message messages sent so that the user of the app gets to know something has been done and probably if it's not uh, done then what we can do is we can set the text as any kind of error message say for your message not found yeah perfect so of course this this line number 52 this will be run each and every time and only when it is successful uh, it will run once and it will print this and then break it so this uh, line number 52 won't be executed again so i think that's all what i feel i will rerun this uh, app to get of course it will ask for the permissions because of this line number 26 over here it's asking me whether i want to grant permission to read and send sms just say yes and before i click forward probably what i'll do is i'll just go to my message app to show you that right now i have around few messages i won't uh, read all through but uh, okay so this is the keyword we have used programmer so if i open this this message has been there two times programmable or oh, i can type probably something else also programmer world says hello okay so now this is also i think i just to remember my choice and of course it will incur some cost so i'm fine with that of course it's an emulator and it's just for the namesake they're asking this so no no what i'm expecting is since this programmer keyword is uh, typed here so this message should be identified my by my this if condition and it should be forward to this particular string number which is nothing but four times zero 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 so right now if i go and there is no message to zero zero and uh, yeah so let's let's use this and see message sent perfect so that means uh, my this if condition has been successful and this line of 48 has been uh, done so if i go back to my this one uh, sms so if you can see that geo geo programmers world says hello okay and probably what i could have also done is i can delete this uh, and delete okay perfect and i'll do one thing i'll delete this as well so that what i want is basically and over here i'll just type test message okay so over here right now there is no programmer world so what i'm expecting is it should <coughs> the latest message is not a programmer world so this is the second last message so that should have been that should be sent when i click on my that forward button so let's see what it happens so again it retains this that means again this line of 48 is successful otherwise line number 52 would have printed it as not found and if i go back here perfect so if i can see it says test mail from programmer world so that is because it, it as i told it uh, reads the message in the uh, latest first i mean the last message first and then the previous one the second and so on and so forth so first message it read here which of course didn't have programmer world then it went to the second message third message but the moment it reads the programmer keyword it just skipped it and then printed or uh, forwarded that to this particular number which we have inserted here so that's all i wanted to show it's pretty simple if you want to forward a uh, sms based on certain conditions so this is the line where uh, you can put any kind of condition here i have put very simple like it should contain a particular keyword but you can also use it for a particular user for a particular type of message and uh, etc and then you can forward to a number which you want and you, here i have triggered it using a button uh, but you can uh, also automate it uh, using any of the other trigger method whatever you want so that's all i hope you like this video if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the in the comment section and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.